I'm here now with the Dewberry Fashion Award winner, Miss Katie Rupel. And Katie, you had a great outfit yesterday at the jog up. Before we talk about your dressage, we'll talk about what you were wearing yesterday and how it won you a pair of Dewberries. <laughs> well, uh, a couple days ago, I mean, really just a couple days before getting here, Ashley Adams, my friend, and I, we, you know, we're just struggling to figure out what I should wear. And it's hard to plan because you really have to watch the weather, you know. You don't want to show up in a summer dress and have it be pouring <laughs> rain, which it was. So we went to the outlets in Florida and <laughs> just drank a glass of wine and that's the best we came up with and we did pretty good. Well, Thanks, you, Ashley. <laughs> it won you a pair of really nice Dewberry boots which you'll get to rock around maybe on your course walks this yeah, yeah. weekend and um, you're riding your longtime partner here just you know he's come so far a few years ago when you guys were in that dressage ring he kind of was very overwhelmed by the crowds and today he looked almost relaxed walking out of that ring. Yeah we've both been learning together you know even three years ago I, I definitely wasn't the rider I am now and I'm still learning so we're, we're both kind of doing it together and learning as we go and he's he's getting a lot better dressage is very difficult for him he's a big horse and it's a little arena and he gets a little claustrophobic but he's learning to handle the pressure a lot better I'm really proud of him Sir Donovan is certainly a cross-country machine, and um, this will be your, obviously your your best phase with him on Saturday. People will look to watch you cruise around those gallop tracks as you've done in the past and been very successful on cross-country together. What are your thoughts on that course? Well, I haven't even walked it yet. I'm a bit superstitious, and I don't like to walk before dressage, so now I'm like itching to get out and see it. But he ran great at the fork. He was well inside the time and jumped amazing, so I feel he's really prepared and really fit and ready so I'm excited to go take a look at it and um, Derek's a great course designer so I'm I'm pumped to see what he's done. Well give us a little bit of quick background on Sir Donovan and you have brought him through the levels and done a lot together. Mm -hmm. Yeah I purchased him as a six-year-old when he had just started going intermediate and it it's been kind of difficult for me to learn how to ride him because he was he was farther along in his training than I'm used to uh, when I get a horse and um, so we spent a year at intermediate two-star level advanced horse trials and um, we've been going advanced now for I think it's our fifth year at advanced together he's 11 so um, he's he and I have done it together and um, before that he was in Ireland he was bred in Ireland and I think he did a bit of fox hunting so that's probably where his, his cross-country savvy comes from but he's been a great horse for me he's he's awesome well Donald's a very fun horse to watch for those of you who've never seen Katie Rupel and Sir Donovan out on course you'll definitely want to make sure you pay attention to that combination as they tackle Derek's tricky cross-country here at Rolex Kentucky